That's for the trenches, man. Shout out Dirk, man. He got him a Grammy. Shout out to Dirk, man. That's, wow. Shout out to Smirk, man. Oh, I'm oh, I'm from man. Chicago, and I just want to say, man, it, it's amazing to see a new generation artist from Chicago, bro, get mm -hmm. a Grammy, bro. Like that's hard. I, that's hard. Like you know how many kids he just motivated with that. That rap. That rap in Chicago, there's never like, bro. We 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 mess with Kanye, right? We love Kanye, but he way he like yeah. he was. It's like, like Lil Wayne. That's to, like to New Travis Orleans. Scott to Houston. No, nah, it's like, like Lil Wayne to New Orleans. He's now in Miami, out. You know, it's like he's New Orleans, but he ain't necessarily New Orleans like everybody's right, saying right. now. Like he ain't in the in the New Orleans. He ain't so in the New Orleans rap. Like, so Chicago. Say. I mean, uh, Kanye's all out. Where is he in L. A. Grease, yeah, the Grease. He everywhere. He was over there with the Kardashians for a while, so yeah, he <laughs> everywhere, bro. Kanye, um, like I tell people, up until you seen Chief Keep, then we didn't have to me, like we didn't have no direct representation in Chicago. Everybody wasn't pole pimping. Everybody wasn't from out west like Twister. Everybody for sure wasn't spending knowledge like Common. It was no it wasn't direct, no do or die. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it, it's it's dudes like that, but that was like a room. Of Chicago, like do or die was a room. Consciousness don't that conscious rap don't get you in the game if you're not already in, and it don't uh, last. Lupe Fiasco is a room of Chicago. Lupe is a room. Like when we when I seen Chief Keeping him the first time, I was Bump J was the closest thing we had to. That was our first before Chief. That right? was our first. I tell people all the time, know your history. Bump J was the first. I'm not saying Chief Keith. But had he stayed in the game, street stuff, he was the first dude from Chicago. We was like, okay, he, he and even then, he came in, he got signed. Nobody, didn't nobody know what to do with him. Atlantic didn't know what to do with Bum J. He was Goon Squad. Didn't nobody know what to do with Bum J. I remember that, that name, though, huh? huh? He was about that, huh? He was about that. He ended up going to jail for a bank robbery. All them Chicago yeah, cats about that. that. <laughs> He went to jail. For, that's where he was gone for so long. He went to jail for like nine years. Is he dead? Mm mm. Oh, okay. You know how, you know how these stories go. I know, right? He's, He's still in Chicago. Dead. Got to that part of the story. <laughs> yeah, it's big game, baby. The flesh live and direct. But yeah, he literally he out. He be with Kanye. He basically Kanye like right hand one of his right hand men's like we're really doing the rest of them. Yeah, he he got writing credits on um Yeezy all that. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah, good come he up. Yeah, right. he He got out like, bro, he got out, he cool with, he still cool with all of them. Bum J would have took off, see? Bum J would have took off if he didn't go to prison. He got locked up like, he maybe he had a McDonald's commercial, Move Around. That Move Around commercial back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah, That Move right. Around, yep, Move Around. That was on McDonald's hey, by Kanye West. Hey, we he was on, right quick. okay, he was on um, NBA Live, 05. He was on NBA Live. His song was on NBA, on NBA Live 05. Bum J? Yeah. He was a, he was up next. He got signed to Atlantic for like a million dollars, bro. He was kind of like, was he on that wave of even though this dude's from New York, but uh, remember uh, Max B? He was on that rise because he started like his style is Mims still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a he was like that. He was like he was on the street DVDs. He was on Smack. Smack. DVD. That's where Bum J came up at okay. through Smack. He okay. like. People remember him off Smack. A lot of people came up off of Smack. A lot, of, man. People don't even remember that. Wasn't that era. A French Montana? I think that's he was the one running that. Yeah, that's yeah. He was started the mac and cheese. Yeah, he he was right. Which I was like, dang, he was doing Smack. Which I knew this a while now, but I was like, whoa, that's oh, random. Who else? Do what you do to get in the game. What's up, man? It's Chris J. Jackin' up here at Pop Boss the Media, man. If you like that clip, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on nothing. Let's go.